Welcome back to In Focus. George Haley is the brother of Alex Haley, the famous author of the much acclaimed novel Roots. George Haley was, has made his own connection to West Africa as the U.S. ambassador to the Gambia. And as VOA's Paul Ndiho reports, Ambassador Haley still has an appreciation for the power of the individual. Which says, I can. I'm only one. But I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do the something that I can do. Now, as I said, it's simple, but very profound, because none of us here in here, none of us is like <clears throat> any other any other individual. Ambassador George Haley was born in 1925, second of three boys. He lost his mother when he was six years old. But though times were hard, his father kept the family together in Painbof, Arkansas, where he was teaching at the institution that eventually became the University of Arkansas. In 1998, President Bill Clinton nominated him as the U.S. Ambassador to the Republic of Gambia. Haley had visited the West African country numerous times and Gambia was the setting for his brother's novel, Roots. When my wife and I arrived, there was just a, a great celebration of, of our coming. Uh, people were saying that uh, you've come home you know, I mean, they were out with libations and just not only from Jufre, but other parts of the Gambia. Gambia called to him across the span of two centuries, keeping alive the name of his ancestor, Kunta Kinte, who had been snatched from Africa and forced into slavery from which he never escaped. It was a very emotional thing uh, to think that that uh, Kunta Kinte really grew up, or that he, he didn't really have time to grow up there. He was a, a teenager when he was captured. In 1976, George Haley's brother Alex published his novel called Roots. It is the saga of an American family starting with Kunta Kinte, kidnapped in 1767 and taken to Maryland to be sold as a slave. In 1992, Haley's beloved brother and famed author Alex Haley died suddenly of a heart attack. George Haley says it's a genealogical search by Alex that led to the writing of Roots. That he went into the archives after, at some time after completing uh, Malcolm X, and he saw these people pouring over you know, the books that their ancestors and whatnot. He said, I think I'll do that after having learned through grandma and others a little bit. And he got down to grandma's parents and others and he looked, looked and he saw all of the people, his, his aunts and uncles. But grandma's name was not on there. <clears throat> And he couldn't figure out that. Despite his family's bleak story of slavery, 84-year-old George Haley says it feels good to have played a role in certain parts of history. He notes the struggles of other African-American leaders and pays special tribute to Benjamin Elijah Mays, president of Morehouse College in Atlanta, and his former schoolmate and civil rights icon, Martin Luther King Jr. My mission is to try to make the world a better place than which I found it. To, to make some improvements in it. To have you and others say, well, look, here, here's an old guy who, who tried to help. Ambassador George Haley and his wife continue to play significant roles in improving education and tourism in the Gambia.
No, a nice story indeed. Now, of course, even though he's in the shadows, really, or people know him through his brother, Alex Haley, he really has a very distinguished career of his own. Uh, absolutely, Nimiyaki. What struck me was the fact that uh, he exudes uh, humility. He exemplifies courage, hard work, and perseverance. And the one thing that he told me is that uh, growing up uh, in, in, that, uh, in that time when the United States was segregated along racial lines, polarized, it's something that defined his character, and he still lives up to that character today. And he had a big role in the civil rights movement, as you noted. He uh, was a lawyer, a distinguished lawyer. All right. Hold you. Thank you so much for that story. And that's our show for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please join us again tomorrow. Good night.